Hello, Internet! How are you doing, guys? Xanos here, and today I get to play something which I've been waiting quite a while to play. This game looks amazing. It was a Kickstarter campaign. So, yesterday I got the email for it to say the um, beta access is now open. Yay! It's, um, it's called Children of the Zodiacs. Zodiacs? Yes, Zodiacs. It's by um, a company called Cardboard Utopia. Done, I think, in partnership with Square Enix, I think. Um, basically, it looks awesome. I funded this on Kickstarter, uh, I think it was February last year. And it just looks incredible. It's like a tactical RPG, kind of the old, like, dice rolling game. You'll see when we play it anyway, but it looks amazing. I've downloaded it, I've installed it, I've not started playing with it yet, so... I'm really excited to give this a go. I've been waiting so long to play this. So let's give it a go, everybody, and see what happens. Let's start our journey together. Difficulty. Um, I'm going to do normal first. <laughs> Are you sure? Yes. Okay. I've been waiting so long to do this. What is this? Um, a technological miracle. A source of limitless energy, a pathway to hidden knowledge to others, and an infinitely corrupting influence, an alien parasite, a weapon. Oh, okay. The Zodiacs were gifts to the heralds who came to Lumos over a thousand years ago from a dark and dying world. Do you like my narration? Do you think I've got the job? <laughs> The Zodiacs brought incredible changes to the world. They provided a way to manifest. I can't even talk. Okay, I'm gonna I'm gonna stop talking now. <laughs> to manifest human will into physical reality, an age of incredible wonders followed. An age that ended in a terrible war. <laughs> okay. So obviously, this game is a work in progress, as you can see. In the title card, and this is a obviously a trial version because it's a beta. Um, I'm just kind of going to skip this text to be because I want to get into the game fragments of the past were uncovered, including history in the mysterious zodiacs. Wise men found relics in time, rediscovered their purpose. I must say, I really like this little art background they've got going. And this is another thing with this game; it looks so stylish, it looks so cool, and wow, that is really pretty. That that's 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 really quite nice. The only thing I'd say so far is I can't you can't read some of the text because it's kind of washed away in the color. So some text kind of gets a little bit lost. Obviously this is this is the beta and they do say um do notify them of any bugs. Oh wow, this looks cool. Oh my god, this looks so pretty. Zekoff. Is it called Zekoff? Ha 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 ha! <laughs> this is the best resistance the my town city guard has to offer. I might just steal all your precious relics. To think you weaklings is what passed for law and order. Okay, and I really should stop with the narration, because I'm not very good. <laughs> that was no with your protecting me, I'll be quivering in my gold Freddy slippers. Okay, he went western very quick there. So, I'm in a tower, and if he dies, we are done for. He looks... Awesome! This game looks so pretty. Move your hero. To move your hero, first select it and then select its destination. Working well with the controller so far. I'm just using my PS4 controller. This game looks amazing. So, it reminds me of, um, oh my god, Final Fantasy Tactics. The, the Lion Wars, I can't remember the name of it now. Um... I, I absolutely love that game. I had it on... Oh, God, what platform did I have it on? I can't remember what it came out on now. But that game was this. It was your turn-based game. You you move so many steps, and the enemies move steps. Uh, you can take an action, and then you can move. But this has got a twist to it. With this game, in the Final Fantasy Tactics games, other games such like that, here we go, cards and abilities. Um, in them games, you just had your attacks. Whereas in this one... Um, you collect cards, and they are your abilities, it says. In Children of the Zodiacs, heroes play cards in order to perform their actions. Uh, cards a hero can play are found in the hero's hand. So we can see there, judging off what um, Nami has got. Is that how you say her name? I'm not sure. <laughs> Oops. 
Um, she's got several different attacks there, um, but I'm sure we're going to find it now. So now we can see under um, Zerkov, we've got crashing, well, two crashing down and crashing down. So let's move him to here. Now, I should be able to... Here we go. I can now do an attack by choosing one of my cards. I think you collect cards, and you can essentially build a deck, I think. I might be wrong there. I said... I'll be honest, even though I get the emails from them, the updates, I purposely don't read them because I don't really want to spoil this game because I really just want to come in as new eyes, like you guys are. We're all doing it together. So play a card, throw a dice. This is where the dice element comes in. Uh, every time a card is played, dice are thrown to enhance um, and affect its full outcome. So essentially, they boost your attack. Um, hold to grab dice, release while moving to throw dice. Okay, every dice on the table counts towards affecting the card played. Right, so... Oh, I can spin them with my jewel shot. That's cool. <laughs> so... Oh, I like how they're all around on the screen. Right, so what have we done here? So, each dice symbol has a different effect on your card's outcome. So, we can press um, back or the share button on my controller. In this case, so F1 to find out what each symbol means. But we just want to kill him. Uh, oh, you can re-roll. You can re-roll some dice by the looks of it. You can select two dice and re-roll to change the results. Okay, that's cool. So, by rolling these, I have get a health bonus of plus five. So, I'm just going to... Can I just press... Nope, nope. Confirm. I want to confirm. Why won't you let me confirm? Confirm! Oh, there we go. My bad. Let's press square to confirm. <laughs> I'm not really helping myself because I'm using a PlayStation 4 controller as opposed to the Xbox One. The Xbox One controller probably would have been easier as it seems mapped to a Xbox controller rather than a PlayStation, which is fine. So, do I? Oh no, he rolls there. Ooh, he hit me. One, wow, wow. This game is visually stunning. Now, obviously, like I say, I was getting the update emails from them, but I wasn't reading all of them. Um, however, I did scroll down to go to any of the artwork and such things like that and I must say it looks even better than it looked In the emails and what I got through the emails uh, Don't they teach you dog snappy lines to intimidate people with honestly? <laughs> that's pretty cool. That's quite funny uh, With that heavy arm, it's gonna take a few a new tactic to get to you my skewer attack should get the point across I'm guessing he stabs him skewer point. Ha 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 Camera controls. Okay, so I can pan with the left stick, rotate with that one. No, let's just see what happens. Okay, so I, I'll be honest, I don't play a lot of PC games, mainly because my PC is just not powerful enough. My, my computer sucks. Um, it's more for editing than it is for playing games. Uh, I've done no setup for this game to work um, with my controller. It just... I assume most PC games do this nowadays. It's just natively realized I'd connected my controller and it's just instantly picked up. So I, I assume most games like that nowadays. As I say, I don't... I can't game on my PC because it's just not powerful enough. So I counter-attacked and did nothing. So, with it being a tactical game, I really should go behind him and attack him from behind. Um, and I'm using my new attack skewer, which pierces armor. So normally with these games, your position, um, oh, there we go, roll. <laughs> your position makes a massive difference towards the amount of damage you can cause. Um, so that's why I've gone behind him, because obviously with doing a tactical game, that is typical what you do. Now, one of the blue die hasn't got a star on it, so I'm going to select that and I'm going to re-roll it. Because I want some special abilities or something, and... I got two stars, so I've got a bigger health bonus. That's cool. The controls seem to work really well on this. I'm quite happy so far. So yeah, this is a work in progress. Um, I think I say Cabot Utopia are the ones who are developing this game. I'm not sure when it's out for release. As I say, the alpha was a, a few weeks, a few weeks slash months ago. And um, this is the beta. Which obviously I'm playing on my PC. As I say, my computer isn't a good computer. It's got an i5 um, processor. Um, boom, 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 boom. I've only got an AMD Radeon R5 330 graphics card. 
which isn't very powerful really. It's not really designed for playing games. It's it's more for editing. Um, but this game is playing smoothly. Now, obviously, I mean, it's not a taxing game, but I've not changed any settings. I've not done anything. It's just running smoothly. And it's just visually amazing, I've got to say. It looks awesome. There's a little bit of pixelation on the, on the floor there, but it just looks so cool. The music is very reminiscent of the Final Fantasy Tactic games. It's just cool, man. It's just cool. What do you guys think of it so far? This look, I'm really happy with this. As I've been waiting so long to play this game. And it just look, it looks like it was worth the wait. Okay, why is he not dead? Oh, he's, he's got, he's got not much, two HP. I'm a beast compared to you. <laughs> I'm going to run behind you. I'm going to skewer you in the back. Roll my dice. Yeah. Okay, I really like the dice rolling mechanic. That's so cool. <laughs> So obviously, we've got two that came up with hats. So I'm assuming each one gives you five. That's why I've got a HP bonus of five. I'll look more into the dice later, but for now I just want to get through this. Opening level together so we can have a look and see. So I defeated him and I got a, a card. I, with this being the tutorial, I don't know if that happens every time, but that's quite cool. So now we have more enemies. I wonder if we're going to see any more characters or if it's just the one. Think you're so tough, you're nothing but a thug. Know your place, this is the Noble's District. Your kind are not worthy to sully its floors. So I must be a commoner then. Guards, spread out, do not let this gutter scum leave the room alive. That's more like it, this guy's got some swagger. And he's brought me the kind of challenge I can sink my teeth to. Okay, he keeps changing where he's from. I don't know where he's from now. <laughs> so they've, um, they've blocked me. They've blocked me! How dare you! Okay, so we're gonna go for you first, because you're behind me! And I'm going to... How much can I zoom in by? Oh, that much. How much can I zoom out by? By that much? Wee! I like how... It's just a floating platform. That looks cool. But then they always are in these games, but it's just very stylish. So... I don't, I didn't get anything there, so I want to... Reroll you, please. You can select up to two. I'm just going to select you. So I'm pressing X to select it and then square to reroll. And that gave me some nice bonuses, I think. Let's destroy him. I like how he just his weapon is just a massive stick with spikes on it. So it's really cool, this health thing. Right, so I saw my deck then in the corner. I've only just noticed that it had 19 on. Um, I... I presume you have a deck in every end of every turn you draw a new card, possibly. As I say, I've, I've tried not to look too much into it because I didn't want to spoil this game for me. Oh, he stabbed me in the gut, man. I cannot attack him and did nothing. Damn it. So he's not going to come behind me. No, he won't get to me. Yay. Okay. Now that everyone's attention, where is that? Oh, are we going to have another character? Thank goodness you're here. There's a madman in this area. I'm so glad you've come to save me. I think I get the job. Oh, excuse me, miss. What did you say your name was? Wait, wait a minute. Did you just come through the window? It's her. The ebony flame is here. Cool. Dang. Guess I can't just put off sweet and innocent. Am I sweet and innocent enough for you? <laughs> All right, doggy. We'll do it your way. So she's come through a window. So we've got Nami and Zirkov. I hope I'm saying the names right. I'm probably not. I'm probably butchering it. Oh, can you use my D-pad to move as well? Okay, so... I just want to attack. So, how do I just select attack? Oh, oh, no. Don't want to go on the menu. Eh, eh. Stop moving. Stop it. Okay, there we go. Crashing down. Is this going to do no damage because he's got armor? Probably not. It's so cool from the dark. I don't think I'm going to get bored of that. That's really satisfying. Is that really going to do no damage to him? Yep. I should have learned that did no damage because he's wearing armor. So it is very tactical. You have to have the person attacks. Um. Obviously, I didn't move. So now I am going to... Oh, no, I didn't move. 
Oh, well, I can press the trigger button to switch between characters. Now, she has blitz attacks. So let's move here. I'm assuming she's going to be like a, judging by the way she moves, she's like a fast ninja, rogue type character. So, let's go. Spin the dice. Okay, so that card is showing two shields. So I'm guessing that is like a, a bonus that it shows. Again, uh, this dice did nothing, so I'm going to re-roll you. Re-roll! Whee! I do like the re-rolling feature. That's pretty good. It can really enhance. Okay, confirm. Let's see what it does. Mmm! Oh, damn. Oh, I like her weapon. Purple. I like purple. I like her purple thought. Enforcer. So I really need to move away from him because I've not got the attack to hit him with. The piercing attack. Oh, right in the gut, man! Yeah, he's got a pig belt thing. I'm sure, only carries an Overwatch or something like that. Oh, sugar, I'm trapped in now. So that's another thing with games like these—you got to be really careful with your placement of your characters. I'm kind of boxed him in now, which was my own fault. <laughs> I've kind of boxed him in, so um, it's all fun and games. Someone gets stabbed in the back. Let's get this over with. Well, I literally just got stabbed in the back because I trapped myself in. Uh, backstab and facing direction. Right, so it does in, it does use the tactics I was saying before about the positioning. So backstab inflicts more damage and cannot be counterattacked. They are performed when using a physical attack directly behind the target. Choose while they place the direction you're facing. Blah 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 blah. blah. So I was right in what I said uh, with the positions. So you do need to watch your positioning. So that guy, I need to get rid of him. Ooh wee! That is so cool rolling the dice. And it works really well with the controller. So that will recover my 10 HP that I need to recover. And it should also kill him. No, it won't only do minus 8, eight HP. Boom! In your face! This got my health back. Oh, I lost one health. See, I can't move because I boxed myself in. Now, he did more damage. So I'm just going to have to face him. There's nothing much I can do there. I'm kind of sucking so far. So, we need to go behind you. Where we should do more damage from a back attack. So when you highlight the character, it does give you an overview of what it's going to do. So my attack on him is going to do 12 to 14 HP, which is a backstab. So there's no counter attack. So that's useful that it shows that information. Do 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 roll the dice. Yeah 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 yeah. And the blue ones did nothing. So I'm going to re-roll them. This re-roll feature is really cool. <laughs> Cool. So now, minus 14 HP on him. We're going to kill him in one blow. Backstab, boy. You paid for this. Justice will be served. Again, his voice. <laughs> that was a cool way down. He just limped to the floor. <laughs> oh, that was cool. Pester, you can come in now. So I don't know much about the story of this really yet. Obviously, I didn't read that beginning bit because I was just skipping it. Holy crap. He's just looking at dead bodies. He's running around like a fool. We mopped the floor with him. The bony hand of fate wasn't kind to the nobles district today. We? Glad you could make it, Pester. Don't know what we would have done without you. Being sarcastic. We wouldn't be cracking over any safe. So I'm guessing he's like the thief character if you're saying about safes. Zerkoff is the brute. And she is the stealthy ninja. God, this guy's got some epic chest hair. It's it's very manly. I, I don't really have chest hair. I, I'm not a man. Bring me that relic. So he goes running away. And it's just us left. The fight is over. For now. <laughs> so, do we go up in level? I don't know. Children's stories. So this game is really cool so far. I'm I'm liking it. So party management. Can I change anything? No, at the minute I can't. Okay, I can't do anything. But we can get a rough idea. So it looks like the dice that they use—they seem to level up by looks of it, judging by the dice pool. And it looks like you can unlock more, up to six each. Um, so that should make it more interesting. I d there might be different types of dice, possibly. I'm not too sure. And then they've got their actual deck there as well. Um, I assume, judging by the icons on screen, we will be able to edit these later on. Obviously, 
at the minute I've not unlocked that. Um, but yeah, that was the tutorial level so far. Um, I don't know. I I I, I really like this so far. Uh, what do you guys think of this game? You'll have to leave a comment down below to let me know what you think of the game. Do you want to see more of this game? Should we go through the beta a bit more together? Um, what do you think of the style of this game with the artwork? I, I absolutely love the background of this. It, it's stunning. It's like a watercolor uh, paintbrushing. But yeah, what do you think of this game so far? I'd say this is the beta. It's called uh, Children of the Zodiacs. I'll put links down below in the description where you can go to their social media pages and things like that. Um, go and add it to your wish list on Steam so you know when it comes out. But this game, for me, looks incredible. It's like it's a combination of loads of different games that I like. The chance, the the deck building, the the dice rolling, the turn-based strategy. It just looks incredible, and this I was so excited when I first heard about this, and I've only played that first opening level, and I'm really excited about that. So please follow Cardboard Utopia for uh, for more information about this game, and let me know. Do you want to see me play this game some more? Do we want to play it a bit more together? Do you want to spend more time with me? I don't know. Um, if you do want to spend some more time with me, then please, 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 please press the like button below and subscribe to the channel. If you don't want to be annoyed by notifications every time you upload a video, then you can just unclick the bell icon. Or you can click it if you do want to know when you upload a video. It's entirely up to you. Um, I've also now got a new Facebook page, a Patreon page. So I'm going to add, again, links for them in the description. So please follow and stuff it. It really does massively, massively, massively help me out doing that obviously i'm only a very small channel i've only just started so that was children of the zodiacs if you want to see some more of that game please like this video and subscribe so you know when the next video is out and i'll see you guys next time see you later guys